Hi, my name's Oliver and I play the parts of St. John Rivers, Mr. Mason and John Reed in Jane Eyre. Speak of the North, a lonely I've always acted in plays since I was very young. I think my earliest memory is playing Simba in The Lion King in, for my year three production at primary school. And I've been in school plays and ever since and did like a local amateur dramatics company which I did a lot of musicals for but I think when I started to take it more seriously it was actually a drama school and I did a lot of you, you work a lot harder on acting as like a craft and as a profession and it gave me my first sort of foothold in the industry so it was it was a drama school when I started taking it more seriously my favorite moment in the show is actually it's the final couple of scenes um, yeah the, 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 that whole section where I'm, I'm, I'm a coachman initially as Jane is traveling back to Thornfield and then the following two scenes whilst they're, they're the real kind of climax point of the play but also everyone's being used in a, in, in a, in a way in those two scenes so Jane and Rochester are on stage playing the scenes but accompanying them are the three of us the supporting members in the cast and we're playing we're accompanying them musically and we're really having to listen to every single word and respond to that musically and also to each other because it changes every night, the timing is different each time so you really have to be tuned in. So that, I think that's actually the moment in the whole show when we're at our most um, cohesive. Yes, they did evolve, although funnily enough I felt in quite a privileged position for my the part of Sinjin, which is my sort of my, my the main role I do in the show, is because when I first got the script through for the audition, which was uh, Sinjin's final scene with Jane, um, I had no previous knowledge of Jane Eyre. I'd never read it. I didn't really know anything about it because I didn't do it at school, which I think is where most people first read it as uh, that read the text. So I just read that scene quite simply as a love scene, but it's only as I obviously then read the book and was in the show for a long period of time over the, this months and months. You realise that it's a lot more than simply a love scene. There's a lot of things pushing and pulling the characters in different directions. But I still think my initial interpretation, which came from just ignorance of it just being a love scene, um, has really, really informed me for that, the whole tour um, playing that character. So it's it changed and developed, but still that initial discovery is kind of what, what yeah what, what I think kept me going through the scene whose charms were the first for me in this production were actually the touring aspects of it so things outside actually of what the audience goes and sees that evening so I haven't really seen a lot of the UK until now but now I've seen a lot of it and it's that was actually a really nice thing for me um, going to parts of the country that I grew up in that I've never been before and although sometimes it was it, it could be quite difficult actually setting the setup in in each theatre we went to was a first for me. I actually enjoyed seeing and doing that side of the production. So sort of no longer just seeing myself as an actor, but actually someone who works in the theatre and everything that has to go on to contribute to the performance that the audience then sees um, that they yeah they, that they come and see. If I wasn't an actor, I would be a musician. I already am a musician alongside an actor, so if I wasn't acting, I would be doing that full time. 